Hello! Today we're going to work on the Reaction Rate Lab. Um, as you can see, I've got everything set out here that I will need for the lab, so it's important that you go through the lab first. Um, I like to only have what I'm going to use for the lab and then have access to everything else just in case. Um, sometimes things crop up, but if you're thorough with reading the lab preparation and getting your lab prep done, you won't have any problems. Um, one thing I've got a lab coat on, you have the aprons. It's always advisable to do that. Whenever you're doing a lab, even though I wear glasses, safety goggles are imperative. Um, do not wear contacts when you're doing any kind of lab work. Okay, so we're all prepared. We've got our safety measures taken care of. So let's go through the apparatus that we're going to set up. We've got two Erlenmeyer flasks. Um, we also have two bungs here, um, or stoppers. You see one has one hole, one with two holes. A little trick with those later. Um, we also have flexible rubber tubing, two pieces. We've got one rigid tubing, glass, be careful of these. And we've got some smaller ones also. Okay, here we have the stirring rod. This is not to be forgotten. The packaging for that can be a little bit tricky, so you'll figure that out by now, I hope. And we've got the 100 milliliter graduated cylinder. Okay, now I mentioned that things can be tricky. I've got some petroleum jelly here that I like to use. It's actually necessary to use it um, for these stoppers. So when you're inserting the glass tubing into the stopper, put a fair amount of um, petroleum jelly on the end of the glass tubing before you put it in. Otherwise, you will not be able to get it out. Okay. Over here, we have our reactants. So, first off, we have iodine potassium iodide, IKI, and a graduated cylinder that we're going to use that with. Um, we also have distilled water. You're going to have to get the distilled water yourself. Um, that is obviously not supplied in the container and a graduated cylinder. I've already poured in there. And over here, we've got 3% hydrogen peroxide. Okay, first up, we're going to add five milliliters of iodine potassium iodide to a graduated cylinder. Don't forget about the meniscus. And to this, we're going to add five milliliters of distilled water, which I've measured into this graduated cylinder here. We're simply going to add this to this to give us 10 milliliters of solution. And we have 10 milliliters, so this is good. Over here, we have our 15 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide that I poured earlier. We're going to add that to a 100 milliliter flask. Now we're going to add five milliliters of distilled water to our graduated cylinder, just so we have it measured right. And we're going to add this distilled water to our hydrogen peroxide. So now we have our two diluted solutions, one of the diluted hydrogen peroxide and the other of our diluted iodine potassium iodide. So let's set these two aside and we'll get our apparatus set up. Our Erlenmeyer flasks, take the tops off. We're not going to use these. We have our two stoppers for Vaseline. Use a good amount, don't be shy of this. And I also like to put just a little dab into the hole. And it'll pass easily through.
just checking the levels here to make sure that the long rod goes into the solution, but does not touch the bottom. So the one hole stopper goes into the first flask. This goes to the short end of the second flask, the short tubing, the second flask. Now we come to the, the longer piece of tubing of the second flask. We put the flexible tubing on. And we have this ready and into our graduated cylinder. Okay, there we go. So this is our basic setup.